A couple days ago, the governor says he's working with the White House to get cruises going again. He says the industry is crucial for our local economy. This all comes as the number of new coronavirus infections begins to surge in as many as 40 states. News 6's James Sparvero spoke with port leaders over in Brevard County. Port Canaveral says it's assuming the CDC's no sale order will expire this weekend. And if it does, cruising could return before the end of the year at the earliest. We're hopeful that uh, this is the, the weekend that we get the green light to start putting things forward. For Port Canaveral CEO, these are hopefully the final days of an eight month shutdown of the world's second busiest cruise port. The no sale order ending the port's budget year with an $18 million loss. We can do this safely. We can do this today. Workers in the industry rallying this month for a restart. The port says despite a bad financial year, it is not desperate for cash. Cargo and space operations are doing fine, and the port made a $24 million profit in its budget year before the pandemic. With the changes that we've made, we can go into next year quite safely and without any uh, financial risk. Future cruises could have less passengers on shorter cruises with the guests wearing masks. The CDC recently tried extending its no sale order from Halloween until into the next year. The White House blocked that from happening. Until cruise lines finally return, the Victory Casino Cruise remains the port's only ship sailing daily cruise passengers. If the no sale order does expire this weekend as the port anticipates, each cruise line still has to get final approval on returning to sailing from the CDC. At Port Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, Getting Results News 6.